Every fine you think you have, said he's shit blood, you're dwarfing. His syllables forcing, your linguistics contorted. He only sees himself beating you, cause his vision's distorted by the fact that he could gain some publicity for it. Well, wait, cause this is more than just lizards and mythical warships. I'm militant, literally spilling your organs. I'm picking up a pyramid to stick into your ribs, twisting your limbs, dishing up your liver in portions, sticking a whip to a sword and swing it to your lip when you walk, cause you've been disfigured and more than your limbs. Are Good, don't flop all fucking day. You know the score is your boy Earth back here. We are at checkpoint number two, Ministry of Sound. Give it up for us one time. Let's fucking yeah. You know it. Campaign continues. Shout out to Michael, Sega, Kruger, Bam, Callum, the entire fucking team. Every single person that's worked on this event is in the description of this video. Please check it out. Shouts to the all true supporters coming to pay for live events and pay for the pay per view as well. Make sure you go on don'tflop.com slash pay per view for all them details. All right. We're back here at Checkpoint. You know the score. Most battles nowadays are unjudged. So there will be no uh, judging at the end of this video by you because this is actually a judge battle. So make some noise for judge battles. Let's go. We're bringing them back. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. We usually fuck with the polls, you know. We love the polls here at Don't Flop, but this is a judge battle. We are five very, very, very credible judges. They both won it. We're putting up £100 from Don't Flop with a little gesture, and we are going to get into the battle right about now. Okay, MC on my right hand side smashes it at Don't Flop every single time. Please make some noise all the way from Canada. We got 100 bullets. Let's go! on my left hand side also smashes it every single time. It's still the current two on two chat. My brother Shuffle T makes some noise! No, no, shouts, as I said, every time, shouts to every other league around the world putting in the grind just like we are. Who won the flip? You won. He's chose to go first. Yeah, I want to go first as well, so I mean, can we flip for that? I mean, genuinely, I want to go first as well, because we like flip. I flip for first. Alright, flip for first. Heads or tails? Heads. Three, two, one. Cheers, mate. Alright, heads. Who do you want to go first? Alright, cool. Alright. First? Yep. Just go Three, two, one. Uh, yep. Yeah, so bullets want to flip. You chose to go first. It's round number one. Checkpoint two. You know the deal. It's on hundred bullets. Let's go. Bullets. All right. Look. <laughs> Ur hit me up. Like what you think about Shuffle T? I said I saw the two on two battles. I'm gonna need some help. Which one is he? <laughs> I mean, the, the balding guy who lost to Tricky? That's a match you condone? I body Jay-Z and had a classic with Jones. Oh, oh, the girly one with the long hair. You think he actually don't? I already beat Kid Twist, so what's this, Attack of the Clones? I mean, you took two years to say my name and cut out the subliminals, hit my inbox like, hi, Bullets, I highly doubt you're a criminal. Come to Don't Flop, where I forget, that's how he types. Hi. <laughs> I say, come to Don't Flop, where I've prepared thousands of syllables, because I need you. What's a parody without the original? Mm. I mean, when I had a classic with Bama Lamb, you watched from the stands. Three months later, parodied my style, and that's what got you your fans. You call them bad bars, but I still taught you, and it's all on my plan, Pan's Labyrinth. I got these pupils in the palm of my hand. Whoa. You'll bring up schemes from 2013. Like they ain't beat the source though. Then tell me I ain't black enough cause I don't let the 40 go. Or fit the negative stereotype. Different nerds, same story, yo. You'll probably say this ain't the first time you face in an Oreo. <laughs> Y'all remember he's selling out, he's selling out, he's, he's tear corny. These corny little white boys always lying, pretending like when Bullet says the N word, even I get offended. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga, no you don't. Yeah. And them jokes won't stop the manslaughter. I've been saying nigga my whole life. Like your grandfather. <laughs> so just shut your mouth and stand awkward. You done made a mistake. It's about to be a unanimous decision. Like baking a cake. <laughs> In a great you royalty, or place your crown on my shoes, or I'ma get your thoughts on the wall like a Pink Floyd album review. These words carve in the phylum, you'll see the scars when he's smiling when I put this joker behind bars like Arkham Asylum. 
He ain't close to my hardest assignment. I still gotta kill him or left this comic hanging like Robin Williams. You'll catch a case. You'll catch a case of insomnia if you talk while I rap at him. Don't say Jack. One hook and the doc gon' have to patch at him. You'll get cold clock silly. Can't stop. Won't stop. Diddy. First round. Lights out. Like, don't flop Philly. Uh, Remember Daylight walked off the stage? <laughs> Ain't no turning back. Just another dead comedian. Bernie Mac. Since this nerd is gassed, I'm giving son the business like a Persian dad. Mm. I can't bear clown. <laughs> Yeah, no turning back, you're just another dead comedian, Bernie Mac. Since nerd is gassed, I'm giving son the business like a Persian dad. I can't bear clowns lying three rounds. I'll catch a murder rap. Wait, bears, clowns, lying three rounds? That's a circus act. If I hear Adam's family, I'ma start snapping. The front door where I'm lurching at. How I describe my rounds? Chinatown. Even if I ain't cooking, dog, I'm still serving cats. <laughs> Let's recap. Round one, 100 bullets versus a subpar threat. Round one, I still ain't schemed to use the gun bar yet. Let's go. Did you just say you're gonna like turn up and kill my family? I think you are. You're much more likely to stand and rap at me. <laughs> Say, good name. <laughs> That's my review. How many bullets again? A hundred. It's quite a few. <laughs> hundred bullets. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> the nineties paged. Some kid with a backwards cap with his rap name back right away. <laughs> when you bring it up, he gets defensive. Like it's from a comic book, by the way. Oh right, okay. Here's me thinking it was kind of gay. My mistake. <laughs> yeah. First things first. Stop with all the old hat wordplay. This is a battle, it's not throwback Thursday. You need to just tone down the quantity of your wordplay. It's weird and it's sad. 33 and obsessed with puns. It is so clear you're a dad. <laughs> I, like, I like wordplay, mate. I think it's the shit. I also like mayonnaise. The difference is this, I like some on the side in which I can dip. Not an entire plate of the stuff with a singular chip saturated in the middle. <laughs> AKA your signature dish. I mean like, how are you so obsessed with Pokemon, but can't evolve past the initial first stage? Always trying to force in film titles to try and fit the wordplay. I'll leave you legless, I ain't talking about the little mermaid. I'm just there like I didn't fucking think you were, mate. <laughs> the wordplay you always seem to have is quite bad. Like me and money go together, but I ain't the queen. And I'm like, man, I know you're not the queen. You're black and quite fat. <laughs> Nobody here needed you to clarify. <laughs> Always proud of going over people's heads. Look at me, I miss my target market. Won't they be impressed? <laughs> if the comedian tells a joke the crowd don't completely get, he won't think I'm so clever. He'll take that fucking joke and reassess. Mm. We actually had this battle plan for last year. And suddenly not a sound. Been so long that he's even kind of lost weight now. I'm not pissed off. I'm not pissed off. Eventually he got chased down. I'm saying bullets dodging Neo is the wrong way around. <laughs> The reason this battle initially got delayed is actually pretty sad. He had some family shit to sort and to that I can tip my hat. I hope you don't mind me saying why you cancelled and switched the plans but you had to take an important trip. Take his family to Disneyland. <laughs> That's not a weird angle I'm making up, that is a sound fact. Picture bullets with his crew there giving out daps. <laughs> As the little crowd claps, chilling out in fucking matching Mickey Mouse hats. <laughs> if you went to 
have a drink at Aladdin's bar, he met Jasmine's father and Jafar. The bouncers, the bouncers were in matching garments, just as the palace guards from Agrabah. Mm. He sat there on the magic carpet eating caviar with QP and with Heartless pointing out where the constellations and planets are, like Saturn, Mars. That's a star. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing you acting hard with your overboard ego, talking about shooting guns and fucking blowing torpedoes. Act like you're about that life, but you only talk street, though. Only time you stay on your grind in the streets is with the Tony Hawk's cheat code. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is? I'm having bullets done. You're not ammo, you're more like Will Ferrell's sandal-wooded gun. If you had some angles with your wordplay, then perhaps you could have won, but till you sort that out, you're just another dad that's good at puns. Time. <laughs> Alright, so we broke down my style from a couple years ago. <laughs> that was very good. Now, finding the real Adam Woolard is like solving a puzzle. In his head, a bunch of voices all talk in a huddle. Fifteen different personalities locked in a bubble. Whoever you actually are clearly got lost in the shuffle. The first issue, your persona. You stole the page from a comic. You're basically Ricky Gervais with shitty wordplay. <laughs> it's, it's blatantly obvious. The similarities go way beyond paying homage. You're naturally funny yet. It's just another day at the office. <laughs> then there's Kid Twist. You slant your wrist and even stand like it. Got that stupid dyke face and the same feminine hands like him. I can see a camel toe. You wear them skinny, tight-ass pants like him. Wait, shuffle, twist? You even named yourself after a dance like him. And how come Don't Flop never throw a top Brit at him? Cause shoddy Tony and C Major would backhand pimp slap him. O'Shea, Lunar, Soul, Kruger, and Ur would make you quit, Adam. You need Marlo. I ain't Einstein, but you bomb whenever you split, Adam. Oh. I'ma say this. You must like getting beat like a masochist. I heard Marlo carrying T like Jesus and Nazareth. When y'all live together, he'd write rhymes for you every day. Even out writing your resume. The blueprint he drew carried y'all through the climb. Now you're getting fame. I'm like, they're funny. They sketch comedy. But whose line is it anyway? I mean, you eat off another person's plate and regurgitate. You have bulimia. And why, and why are you screaming on bad bars too like I have a beef with you? I don't even notice you. You're a tumor. But the staff believe in you. Now I'm battling a cancer because bad blood cells? That's leukemia. Ooh. I mean, let's get it straight. Marlo write the stuff. Don't flop, hype him up. Had AIDS his whole career. Tell this queen another one bites the dust. Ooh. I'm Cronus. Harp on me. You can't overthrow a titan. Zeus with a bolt of lightning, a golden pen. The soul of Midas flows Poseidon. I hold the trident. So divine, but no surprises. Since the Garden of Eden, Adam turned his back on God and was known for biting. I mean, that's why the amputee. Without crutches, you couldn't stand by yourself. Your name Shuffle, cause you don't like the hand you was dealt. You can't intimidate who you imitate. I might slow it down and repeat, but you more than a little conceited. I'm thinking, how can it be? You on your high horse, judging, like the mounted police. I mean, you're the biggest antic since daylight stripped down to his briefs. You battled a can, a stick, cookies, shoes, at a wedding. Compliment bars, bad bars, Anton Murphy. <laughs> all this, all this and you frown upon me? If Ur told you suck his dick, you drop down to your knees. You're a court jester, his little lap dog. It's your court jester, a little lap dog. I scoured the scene for the most, the most thirsty attention whore and don't flop and I got it down to a T. <laughs> now let's recap. Hundred bullets versus subpar threat. Round two, I still ain't schemed or used the gun bar yet. Mm. Keep being irrelevant, let's go.
I heard what happened in the URL battle. It was a KO. They didn't release the footage and they kept it laid low, but I'm going to make it so that they won't say no. Take notes. I'm going to be your URL maid coach. <laughs> First rule, making URL crowds react is as simple as pie. First bar doesn't matter, second just crack some shit on the side. Slow down in the third bar so they catch the syllables right. <laughs> then speed up and get louder on the finishing line! <laughs> hey, every time you think you said a nice line, give yourself a high five. <laughs> Talk about how big your weapon is and how your gun is prone to clap, then completely ignore the homoerotic undertones in that. <laughs> Never admit you lost, despite the extremely blatant facts. If your opponent says that they won, they need to take it back. If the fans disagree, they don't have a decent taste in rap, call the Battle of Classic, double your fee, then see who paid you that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll give you some sample bars that you can use if you're going to. For free. Gratis. <laughs> Yo, I come on with that blue, black, and steel. I dig deep for my work, that's a pneumatic drill. I come to your daughter prom with two Happy Meals and spike the fucking punch. That's a Hugh Jackman film! <laughs> alright, alright. Here's like a, a Cortez style one you can use if you want. <laughs> Yo, you must be speaking in another language. I don't understand it. Maybe fucking Spanish. But you touch my dough, I'll make you fucking vanish. You put your hand in my bread, you get some knuckle sandwich. <laughs> I kind of do most of that URL style battle shit. I guess the reason they didn't invite you back is because you're bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's because of all your fucking schemes. What you need to do is engage in some subtlety. Like me, Shuffle T. I'm so subtle B, I put that subtle B in the word subtlety. <laughs> To a subtle creeping submarine coming deep from underneath some can fleet you fucking geek. He's <laughs> huh? a fucking geek, shut up. <laughs> Yo, um, coming deep from underneath. My point is this. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> if you just have fun, it will, it will help. And then all those insecurities that you have about yourself will just comfortably melt. Battling's about celebrating your characters, because you're stuck with yourself. They're here to see you be you, not you trying to be somebody else. Mm, yeah. Time. Mm. <laughs> Alright, look. Y'all comparing earthquakes to aftershocks. You got a grave future. That's the plot. Trying to diss me? Have a shot. I'm all ears. Captain Spock. <laughs> I said live long and prosper, just yeah. give me my space, man. Astronauts. No messing around to even invest in this clown is a laughing stock. Don't ask if I pack the Glock, I'll, I'll slap the snot out of Asheroth. I told you yesterday, we can work it out, let it be. Classic rock. Mm. Yes. But you kept going on. You could have been an afterthought, but you stay harassing niggas. Traffic cops. This guy diss me, think Rice Krispies. Your neck will snap, crackle, pop. You want a war with bullets? You need street sweepers, Navy SEAL team leaders, or a UN over your head like United Nations peacekeepers. They put a loony in the ring like Flip Tops League. Y'all ICP. Biggest clowns in the hip hop scene. How many styles you gotta steal to get a win off me? Hulk Hogan. In the ring, you a rip off, T. Mm. Show some dignity. So I said, show some dignity. The concept for your compliment battle, you owe to Tricky P. You plagiarize Chris Morris, Anthosaurus, whole delivery. You're a Mark Grist slash Kid Twist clone, a mini-me. Your name should be Kid Grist. Your image, was, your image was stole deliberately. The only thing you've shown consistently is being prone to mimicry. You're a poser, a carbon copy, phony, gimmicky. You wouldn't know a real MC if you met Hova physically and the ghost of Biggie with most of Dilla's beats. Oh. 
this whole this whole critic acts of big sarcastic cynics mask to trick the masses. It's systematic. A decoy. Not the Ozzy who finds kids attractive. <laughs> I mean, you both afflicted with twisted habits, but yours is biting. You got a dinner jacket, living lavish, all you can eat, and you nibble at it till you finish snacking. Or it's or it's cinematics. Big theatrics. If rapping's a stick, then stick to acting. <laughs> The simple fact is, you're a timid, brittle, skinny, average, mimic, jacking, acrylic, plastic, no rhythm, having, image, snatching, gimmick, rapping, British faggot. Oh. Can't see me, real talk, rapping is easy. Mm. Y'all watching the video? Stop, bring it back for a repeat. We mm. you know I'm the man, this hoe is a fan, you happy to meet me. Mm. I play with a sheet coat, you thought you could actually be me? Mm. You ain't got no rhythm, you ain't got no tracks, and you making a mockery. Mm. I came here to kill him, I'm able to rap money, fake his monopoly. Mm. Say my name in the building, a fatal attack, and this ain't a democracy. Mm. They made me a villain, my brain no react, and there ain't no one stopping me. Mm. At the end of the day, everything you said didn't apply to me. Mm. You tell the crowd about the schemes of my gun bars, don't lie to me. Mm. You should have wore a Teflon Jason mask and a bulletproof hoodie too, because they was right, guns don't kill people. Bullets, Bullets do. do. He's like, none of that stuff applies to me to try and make a victory. It's because you changed your style like three weeks ago. It doesn't erase the history. <laughs> yeah. What else was I going to talk about? <laughs> Alright. Two years ago. Right. <laughs> I finally did it. A battle without Marlo. I don't always need him giving help with them. But I might bring Batman them out to try and make you shit yourself again. <laughs> Do you remember? What do you think I'm choking sick? What do you think I'm choking sick? No, I think you're choking shit. <laughs> <laughs> you might think Marlo's not here to help me, but I would protest. I'd say he's not here to defend you during the writing process, but we did talk before. We agreed that sometimes you're so close to being sick, but then you just keep falling past because you stretch your bars and wordplay to meet your demands. You stretch more than those guys who do the complete tour de France. Even his favorite song is by Stretch Club 7. Reach for the bars. <laughs> See, I'm coming with the equivalent of that enigmatic prose that Edgar Allan Poe and Terry Pratchett wrote in my Inspector Gadget coat. You're a 33 year old battler who never managed growth. You should be locked away inside a geriatrics home. You had a try but now it's time to let the battles go and stick to rapping once a year in a pensions talent show. <laughs> but you're 33! You're 33! And a half. You're 33. Been battling 18 months longer and you're still in purgatory. <laughs> Five extra battles, a decade older, and you have more urgency. How the fuck are you still considered worse than me? <laughs> Isn't that embarrassing? Because even in a battle, it's awkward to say. I mean, it's your life and everything, but I'd be walking away. You're a decade older than everyone performing today, and they're all better than you. Mate, just call it a day. <laughs> You'll see that the silent nod into the gun. You know, when he gets that look in his eyes like, what have I done? <laughs> Evaluating everything in the life and what it's become, so the other guy is obviously psychologically kind of already won. <laughs> but if all you want is references, geeky as shit to provide you with, then I'm gin in the... I'm Jim with this flying kick and the king of the iron fist. Mm. Swinging with spiral hits till I finish the final blitz. Yoshimitsu and Brian mix after fitting their cyber chips into their mind and switch it to a violent blitz. Spinning a writer's script with Christian Tiger's flips and mission of fighting tips with signature lightning kicks. Mm. Mate, you're literally 96! 
You're literally 96. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I only wanted this battle in the hopes it could persuade you to quit. Because what you've been doing with battling is just taking the piss, overusing everyone's favourite bits till you finally succeeded in making them shit. And it's just making me sick. Fuck off. We don't need you in battle and you don't help it up. Hundred bullets missing the mark like Elmer Fudd. Stop making my hobby look shitter, you selfish fuck, and go and ruin somebody else's fun. And if you don't want people to bring up your shitty wordplay in a fucking battle, then don't do shitty wordplay, don't fucking battle. Time! Yeah, G BS5, our air judge and shuffle team versus 100 bullets. I thought um, that was unexpectedly easy to judge. I'm surprised, really. Um, I think 100 Bullets took the first round, that was the closest round out of them all, you know, Shuffle T was good in that round and he was attacking him, but obviously the fact that um, 100 Bullets avoided using schemes, you know, took away some of the sting. In the second round, I don't think that um, Shuffle T stayed on topic enough and all of that veering off topic and, and such when um, 100 Bullets was in better form than I'm even used to seeing him in meant Shuffle T, um, 100 Bullets took that round and in the final round I thought um, 100 Bullets absolutely killed it. Shuffle T was decent in the final round Round, but it's just not enough. Um, I think that's a comfortable 3-0 for 100 bullets there and I'm surprised that it, it, it was such a landslide and so easy for me to judge. Let's Look, Marv 1, I heard don't flop, checkpoint 2. One of the judges for Shuffle T versus 100 bullets. This is how I broke it down, I think. The first round, Shuffle T edged Mar uh, 100 bullets. I think the second round, Shuffle T stopped, like for some reason, like he like he just stopped the shit short. So I gave that to 100 bullets, and then the third round, I gave it to 100 bullets strictly because of the fucking the the crowd participation, the mmm shit. It was really really heavy. It was really hard to come back from. I thought that uh, I thought that 100 bullets just had better material. I thought Shuffle T stayed on one angle the entire fucking battle, and and, and 100 bullets had better material. So I gave it to 100 bullets, two one, possible 3 0 but. I say two, I say two. Yeah, um, 100 bullets versus Shuffle T. Um, it went pretty much how I thought it would, to be honest. Um, I think 100 bullets is doing a good job of, of proving himself as a sick battler who doesn't have to just scheme. I think he kind of tarnished his name by doing a lot of that scheme shit in the beginning and people kind of take the piss out of him for that. But I think he's doing a good job of proving that he can do more than that. But I still think Shuffle T edged him, like breaking down his style. I was looking forward to seeing him do that because he did it in the Bad Bars video talking about 100 bullets. So I was looking forward to how he was going to put that in the bars. And he did it perfect, man. Like Shuffle T, I'd say, I'd probably say 3 and all, but it wasn't, every round was pretty close, man. 100 bullets is sick too. So yeah, Shuffle yeah, T. Stick of the Dump, King Grizzly, yeah, free download yeah. out now uh, from mm. stickofthedump.com. Yeah, Personally, I gave it 2 1 to. Um, like Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, give it, I give it two, uh, two one to shuffle. Uh, like, I think it was very close. I think, as Luna said, uh, bullets maybe schemed out a little long. Personally, I just think T is like so conversational with it. He sits in the pocket like perfectly. There's never any. It never looks like he's uh, trying. It just looks like that's how he naturally talks in those rhyme schemes and. Uh, you know, from a conceited writer's point of view, that's something I look for is a way of hiding the working that's going on, and I think he did it flawlessly. I think Bullets is an incredible writer, but I just think the working's more obvious. It's like the the, the rhyme schemes aren't quite as as fluid, and when it's so close like that, when the bars are so close like that, then really it comes down to those little nuances in it. So, cool. Yeah, two one to shuffle to King Grizzly. Uh, yeah, it's boy Lefty, LJMusic.com. Um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. I thought it was 3 0 bullets. I thought um, Shuffle's first round was his best round, but still didn't come close to Bullets' worst round, I think, personally. But it was a really good battle, so yeah, 3 0 bullets. Yo, what's good? We're back here from a fucking dope battle. It was Shuffle T versus 100 bullets. Please make some noise for the MCs. Let's go. That's it. Make sure you see the show for this. Hashtag check for the Hashtag go flop. It was a 3 2 split decision. The dude with 3 was 100 bullets. Make some noise. Major promoted, now the star gets fatigued, I'm commander in chief, now you pardoning me? Pardoning me, but your part in the scene is all parting to me, departing from me, so split my wig like he pardoned to me, that's a parting to me, it's a fake front, but it sounds good, you're totally parting to me.